a different kind of driving lesson is gaining traction in Michigan. More than 500 people have learned to drive Henry Ford's Model T's at the Gilmore Car Museum near Kalamazoo this year. It doesn't start, run, or operate like the cars of today. And that's what makes the Model T so much fun to drive. Absolutely recommend this for everybody to do. It is just a ball. Well, pedals in this one are a little bit different. Keys Mays recently learned how to drive Henry Ford's historic creation that established a mass market for automobiles. First, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified that I was going to break something, that somebody breaks something, but then, you know, you realize that these things were built bulletproof. The Gilmore Car Museum near Kalamazoo offers the one-day, four-hour class for $105. Are you guys ready to drive? The chance to sit behind an authentic Model T Ford built between 1908 and 1927. 12-year-old Alan Bennett is the youngest person ever to complete the course. It was fun, really, because uh, it's... Because I only did, like, go-karts before, which are, like, little and... Right there is a yep. starter button. Stomp it. By their side, 92-year-old instructor Jim Brand. They're old, like me. <laughs> Who fondly recalls owning three Model Ts in high school. They were cheap. High school kids look for cheap cars. Bennett and his classmates successfully operated the Tin Lizzies. Did it pass? You did, so far. <laughs> Three foot pedals, one hand lever, and two hand controls on the steering wheel. And negotiated the museum's two and a half miles of paved roads. Their reward? Alan Bennett. A piece of paper. Now holds our youngest. Woo! Holds a world's record. The youngest ever. Yeah. And the experience of a lifetime. They are hard to drive. I would love to try that, though. Isn't that my, cool? My uncle used to have one. And really? We, I've driven it. It's not easy. No, it didn't look, yeah, it didn't <laughs> look easy, especially with the three pedals there. Not, not like today. Anyway. Yeah.